You know, like this happy little boy looked like a sad little boy. Oh my god. Some of you clicking on this video might be wondering what the hell is an e-boy? And the truth is, I couldn't answer that question for you because I have no clue either. Which is why for the next few days of this work week, I will be living out the life and style of an e-boy. No idea what that means, what that entails. But that's why we have Chase Hudson, AKA Lil Huddy, coming on by. Do you know the other day on Hollywood Boulevard, a man dumped a bucket of his own diarrhea over a woman? Oh. I didn't know that actually. No. That's true story, true story, true story. An e-boy is an internet boy that wears black, has their nails painted, they wear lots of chains, act dark and sad and edgy. Not only do I want to kind of fit the style, but I kind of want to live the life of what people assume an e-boy does. I would love for us to go to the shops right now for you to help me pick out some, some clothes I, to wear. I'd love to. Perfect. You know, I'll bedazzle you out, I'll show you. Nice. Billie Eilish plug. That's a nerd. That's sick. Love her. Billie Eilish, she does, she, does, she does bad guy. Yeah. When I'm out of the shops, I'm gonna be looking for things like nice, plain, long sleeves. This is gonna be one of your under shirts. Alright. Perfect. And then I'm gonna put a, like a vintage shirt over him. I'm gonna be looking for a plain black beanie. You look great. How should I be doing my hair this week? I do no fire. I'm gonna be looking for a nice chain piece. I like a lot of people have locks. It does it sort of symbolize how love is kind of a lock between you and someone else? Uh, no. Right. Those are always cool. Hey, we're getting our stuff done. This is getting a lot. Whose world is this, Chase? You know who's world this is? It's your world. This is our world. This is our world. <laughs> Me and my buddy Chase just did some great shopping. Yeah, you guys did. saw some some tidy stuff too. I did. I got some cool stuff. I saw him go up to a counter and I saw him pay for something that was two hundred dollars for two shirts. Wow, I was on more of a bit of a budget, but we got some great stuff here. We got some great stuff. We got a Harley Davidson denim jacket. Yeah, when they see it, they'll be like, that guy rides motorbikes. Yeah. Oh, you think they'll think that? No. Whose world is this? Whose world is this? It's your hours. See, shout it with me. One, two, three. Hours. No, this is, no. It's not my world. This is our world. It's our world. Because we went shopping on Melrose. We took over the street today. It's our world. One, two, three. It's our world. This is our world. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't know we were doing that. What a week. The first real day of wearing the look was Tuesday, and it's safe to say that I got a whole host of different responses around the office. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my god, Aria. This is not Aria. There's so much metal. <laughs> this is very off-brand for you, so I love it. This is kind of cool. This is really <laughs> hot. You look hot. Yeah, you look great. I like it. You, <laughs> you know? look like a K-pop star. I'm not gonna lie, you look really cute. Thank it's you. It's so weird that I'm so into this. I want to follow you while you go see Merle. Oh my god. I'm actually kind of into it. Now that I feel like I want to like secretly make out with you at the mall. Oh. oh. Dope. But like, so don't I, tell my mom. I'm a little flustered. She's sexually flustered. The middle part and the chains were the things I was definitely most wary about. But people really like the look, especially the hair. I like your hair like this. I do like the hair. I like the hair. I love this for you. Today is the day I'm going to try and recreate the style of Chase's Instagram posts. This is a big step in the journey for me to becoming an e-boy, I think, because this is a look I don't typically wear. And so for me to put myself on social media, looking this way is gonna be a, it's gonna be a new experience for me. What do you think of this look, Jack? It's kind of sick, bro. You gotta be more confident. You're so like timid when you're showing people. You're like hee hee hee. I don't know if this is a uh, this is quite. No, a don't me. don't question it. Be bold. You're a f***ing e boy, bro. I posted the picture on Instagram the way Chase would have posted it using his advice. With captions, I do a lot of song lyrics. I have a lot of like deep quotes and stuff like that in my notes. I find a song lyric that resonates with me and then mm -hmm. use it as the caption. Mm -hmm. When I posted the picture on Instagram. 
That was crazy. Seeing the response from people on Instagram, from friends, family, followers, it was a very positive response and it was one that helped me really feel more comfortable in this look. And this is actually only one of several looks I'll have this week, so what a treat. This is me whole week. You're doing this all week? Oh. <laughs> God bless. <laughs> oh wow. Look how lucky we are. Love that for me. <laughs> Since I already was quite nervous about my look on Tuesday, I went into Wednesday knowing I had to really embrace the look. Bro. Chase in a few of his photos, he's added eyeshadow. I hate this. Which was uh, a struggle for me, mainly because I don't like things near my eye. Stop moving. <laughs> <laughs> wow, now this boy I would totally go on a date with. I don't know who's red right around the two of you. I don't know how to look at you. You look hot. Yeah, I feel like it suits you more than you think. I like it. I'm sweating. <laughs> Stop. Yeah, I like this one. Oh, Merle, I'm sorry, girl. <laughs> You're I'm very flustered. I think once it slowly started becoming a real turning point for me because I was really starting to really feel the look. You look really brooding. You look like you might recite a sad poem. <laughs> Stop looking at me like that. Yes. Ah! Oh, cease and desist. This represents your soft boyness. This is the death of soft boy Aria. Hey, uh, I'm really in the mood for a milkshake right now. Get the f out of here. <laughs> I would go. <laughs> I'm like into this. Don't it on the ground, throw it. Yeah, you don't care about it. You don't care. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you. Please keep that off. Of I'm getting laid tonight. <laughs> oh my god. Going to Thursday, I was already feeling a lot more confident, and that was good because Thursday was definitely my most uh, aggressive look. What do you think of this <sighs> look? All of these hit me in a really awful way at first, but then I kind of like it. I like the beanie. Yeah, I feel like the e-boy energy coursing through me as this week goes on, so I'm just gonna embrace this look. Are you gonna wear makeup again with this? No, not this one. Why? <laughs> I don't like the makeup. The thing is, I was nervous about this look, but at the same time, I was also feeling a little bit more confident going into it because of how I was starting to really enjoy the e-boy looks I had been trying out. Obviously, TikTok is a very big part of e-boy culture. So for Thursday's challenge, I would decide I was gonna try and replicate one of Chase's TikToks. There was a TikTok of Chase lip syncing to a song and grabbing at himself uh, in a very suggestive manner. And so I went into the BuzzFeed bathroom, groped myself a bit to the music and tried matching his movements. Do like wave, do the like, <laughs> like really swing those hips, okay? I think TikTok has become like super popular because of all that it brings. Okay, you're in there, bro. Like on your For You page, whatever you like, you start to see more. So if you like funny things, you're gonna see a lot of funny things. You like dancing, you're gonna see a lot more dancing. It's based around like what you like to see. <laughs> that was good. Oh my That's God. it. <laughs> We've been here for about almost half an hour, uh, but I think, I think we got it. I'll post it now. Here we are, Friday, the last day of being an e-boy, and I'm a mime, apparently. And the challenge for me today, on my final day, has been to live out Chase's daily routine. It is very bright, uh, it's 7 a.m. Woke up, I took a shower, got on this look. I will be honest, this is not my favorite look. Oh, oh you look like a little Pete Wentz's Asian cousin. <laughs> <laughs> I eat a lot of fruit. Do you have a favorite type of fruit? Raspberries. Oh, those are tart. All right, let's go to work. Okay. I'll like wake up a friend and we'll go talk and like plan out what it is we want to do the other day, like content wise. What's Morning, up, dude. What are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna go to the gym. No, you're not. We're gonna make some content. Jack's back. Well, he's here to take a photo of me. So we're creating content as, as Chase does. I usually spend like an hour just responding to emails, stuff like that. And then after that, just like, I don't know, post a selfie on my story or something like that. And then like grab your throat or some <laughs> Oh my God, no. And like roll your eyes back to your head if you can. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's kind of dick, bro. 
That's kind of sick. I go live right after I, I go and I post. I'm here with Megan. Hi. We're Do I have french fries in my teeth? No. So we're gonna go live. Hi! Who else loves french fries? I don't usually go live on my Instagram, but I did enjoy interacting with people, and so I probably will be going live again in the future, so follow me. We eat a lot of Taco Bell. Like, uh, in the past week, I probably had it like four times, and I'm trying to eat healthier. I do like sweets, but I also do try to stay away from junk food and fast food, and so ordering Chase's specific order, not the best, not the best. I felt very greasy afterwards. But I guess that's the cost of living the life of an e-boy. Overall, I would describe this week as being very, very surprising. I would never have thought that A, other people would like the looks that I was wearing this week, and most importantly, B, that I would actually like them too. Everybody was kind of into it, like not just me. This week definitely pushed me outside of my comfort zone in a way I never have before when it comes to my looks. I think because of the social media attention and the IRL attention, you can definitely tell he's owning it now. Ari is a man of many faces, and I guess I didn't know he had an e-boy face. I like it. Before we wrap this though, I was looking at Chase's Instagram, and there was one thing I did notice that he had, which I don't. Oh my god, you got a hoop! Oh my god, Aria! Actually, I kind of like it. Honestly, just don't care about what people think, be yourself. That's how I've always kept it at, and I live by that. I do, I do me, you know? You should do you. One, two, three. This, this is, is our, our world! world. <laughs> there you go. Yeah.